Hey, how's it going everybody? For today's video, we're going to be doing a Troy Tulowitzki Signature Series debut. Now, if you saw last video, we did just hit World Series, so I did take Tulowitzki over Ty Cobb simply because I feel like shortstop is a more of a premium position. Also, for those of you who have been wondering, I have seen, again, some of the questions in the comment section of what my new cap swing is and it it was Troy Tulowitzki's 2010 stance which I really do enjoy and that's this card so looking at his stats we have 101 contact versus right 113 contact versus left 90 pomp on right 96 power on left 94 vision so he is going to be a pretty solid card but you know he's not going to have the craziest PCI size but it's gonna be pretty good when looking at his fielding I feel like it could have been probably a little bit better for his 2010 season but even then still crazy good 89 fielding 96 arm strength 88 arm accuracy with 82 reaction that's kind of where I was thinking that it could have been better the 82 reaction for a shortstop especially where Tulo was when he was 25 it, I think it should have at least been a 90. Lastly, you can see 64 speed. That's not crazy good, but it's at least not terrible. If he's on second base, you hit a ball to the right fielder, left fielder, get a little bit towards the gap. He's not going to clog up those base paths. He's going to score. So for this video, we're going to have Tony Gwynn leading off, Alomar hitting second, Tula Whiskey hitting in the three hole, Frank Thomas hitting fourth, Duke Snyder fifth, Willie May six, Josh Donaldson, and then our cap Ron Jeremy now behind home plate. In a more traditional setting, I would say Tula Whiskey would be hitting around sixth or seventh in this lineup, maybe in front of Josh Donaldson, maybe behind, just depends how much I really enjoy his swing. We are currently rated 930. Hopefully we end up playing on the legend difficulty that we can see what it how well he's gonna do at the highest tier of gameplay. All right, so our opponent for today is the Hollywood noob. He has a Twitch channel, go check him out. Madison Bumgarner's on the mound from Curtis Granderson, his cap, Adam Dunn, Frank, Joey Gallo, Longoria, Alomar, Jimmy Fox, solid team. We got Bob Feller on the mound. I guess this will be a debut between Tula Whiskey and Bob Feller. All right, we're playing at definitely a different stadium. Don't think I've played here a whole lot. Not necessarily the greatest of fields, but this is where we're at. All right, so leading off for us, we got Tony Gwynn. It is going to be a lefty-lefty matchup, but... With this card, how he's been since the patch, he's one of the few cards that has crazy amounts of power. Oh, wow. That was a great pitch to hit, especially for Tony Gwynn. We would have easily gone deep on that if I squared it up, but we missed. That's going to be out number one. Oh, one to count for two Lewitsky. Hopefully he comes through for us. Looking for a good, solid start. And that is going to be a base hit into left field that is not going to be extra bases. But first at bat in this video, he ends up one for one. Frank is going to roll that over through the hole. Definitely out in front and on top of that. But we do get a base hit. Hopefully we can take advantage of it right here. All right. We definitely got to slow down our approach. Maybe get a little bit more patient. We are well out in front of it. This is definitely not a legend. This is on Hall of Fame difficulty. All right. Well, let's see how good Bob Feller is going to be. Uh, the one thing I am curious about this card, he's definitely got some good hits in case per nine. Got good speed differential. But how easy is he going to be? You know, able how how easy we're gonna be able to control him. We get our ground ball over to Robbie Alomar. Easy out number one. Two to the count. We're gonna try and bring the sinker inside. I'm not controlling this pitch well at all. Throw it down the middle. <laughs> the other two that I edited out were well outside. So we get ourselves out number two. We got ourselves a scary card right here on Hall of Fame difficulty. Adam Dunn can do some damage. We actually throw a sinker in a good spot. So far, a one, two, three inning. Bob Feller's looking good. And Willie Mays does do that on the first pitch, but it is going to be a deep fly out. It's going to be out number one of the second inning. All right, Josh Donaldson, you're either a deep fly out, line out, or home run. Haven't really gotten a whole lot of anything else from you. Let's turn that around here. Josh Donaldson squares it up. I do not think it is off the top of the wall. That is going to be a very long single. Well, at least he did change it up a little bit. Good squared up, 112 off the bat. You love to see that early on in the game. I like seeing that my exit velocities are going to be good. That is going to go ahead and bleed in into center field. We are going to push it. His cap is the center fielder. We're going to go ahead and send our runner back to first. He was looking for that to happen. I don't think Bob Feller has any hitting stats. I could be wrong, but let's see if he can come through for us. And he is going to go ahead and turn this into a double play. Bob Feller said he's going to get it done on the mound. He didn't care to help himself out. We have four hits through two innings. One to the count. We're going to throw this 12-6. That's going to be in a good spot as well. He's out in front, but it is going to drop in front of our center fielder. So a man with 49 speed is going to be on first base. Double play still definitely in order. One, two. We're going to throw that change up low and in. He's out on his front foot. All right. This man's timing is everywhere. Late, very early. 
Kind of don't know what to throw because they all keep getting fouled off. We're going to throw that slider well inside. We finally get the strikeout. 1-1. One, one. We're actually going to throw a fastball upstairs. Get it by him. 101 on the radar gun. We're going to see how he is aggressively. Hopefully, we get him out at first. It doesn't. Behind the back. Miss the tag. Here we go. 2-1. We're going to go ahead and throw that 12-6. Good pitch. Kept it away. I am going to risk it again. We're going to bring this four seam inside, oh, and that is not a good spot. But we do end up getting the job done. It's going to be a routine fly ball to center field. That slider is also a filthy pitch. It has some good movement, and he controls it pretty well, if I'm being honest. I thought Bob Feller would have been a hard card to control. Every now and then, we are doing that, so that doesn't help the case. But he's a lot better than I thought. On the 2-1 count, we're going to go that change up. Dot it up. Keep it in front of the bag, for Christ's sakes. Oh, we get him out at third. All right. We just avoided a big-time blunder and a probable rage-inducing moment. Swing first pitch change up. We're a little behind. We're going to look to try and yank something here. Tony's going to square it up. It looks like it's going to bleed in. His outfield is playing very deep. We're going to go ahead and try and push this into 289 speed. Is going to get in there safely. Robbie, hopefully that is deep enough to be a sack fly. That is going to be his cap in center field. We are going to push it. 89 speed. We're gonna, oh, it's going to be close. Not close enough. So, man on third, one down. Ground ball, deep fly ball from too low. Gets the job done. We're looking just to put it in the outfield. Something deep. And you know what? A single does get the job done. Too low, two for two today. Two singles with an RBI. We are now up one to zero courtesy of Troy Tulo Whiskey. We're going to get a cutter inside to Frank. Hit it hard right to the third baseman. That's going to be a very easy routine double play. So we still get at least one run, but that's it. All right, Madison Bumgarner. I honestly get the vibe. He's going deep on me, especially if I'm throwing pitches like that oh one we're going with that slider i'm really liking this pitch i love how much control i have over that pitch over pretty much any other one his sinker and fastball are good but his slider i have not missed once yet sinker up and away gonna go ahead and get a late hit so madison bumgarner does get on so that's a man on first nobody out one one we're gonna throw that change up not in the best of spots but it does fool him one two count we're gonna go right back to this pitch hopefully just blows it by him. He's out on his front foot, so we're going to get a deep fly ball to right field, out number two. Or one, actually, out number one. Jesus Christ. I'm a little ahead of myself today. Execute the slider. That is not how you execute it, but at the end of the day, it does get the job done, so now it is out number two. This man's got a bunch of lethal power, and if I keep making mistakes like that, they are at some point going to come back to haunt me, but not just yet. And, well, that's just a good pitch on a one-two count. That's what that was. Willie, oh my god, we were late on that one. Well, this inning has not gone well at all. The other innings, again, have gone well, but this one, not hot. Last at bat, you did just miss a home run. You hit a line drive single off the wall. Let's go deep here. And he's going to go ahead and drive it the other way. I don't think we're going to get a double on that. Actually, it died in front of Gallo. So 53 speed is going to get in there easily. Base hit is going to score one. Ron, please tell me that's a Ron bomb. Mustache rides all around. Or is it going to die in front of the wall? It is a home run. We are now up 3-0. to zero. All right, Bob Feller, last time you had a chance to help yourself out. Let's keep the rally going. And oh my God, that is not going to burn the outfielder, but it was well hit. Oh one, one we're going to throw a 12-6. That misses the spot. Josh Donaldson bodies it up, knocks it down, throws it across the diamond. Out number one. 1-1. One, one, we're going to hit this sinker this time. We're not going to... Oh, my God. Frank could have bailed us out there, buddy, but it's going to get by him. Common fielding does finally bite us over at first base. 0-1 oh, the count. Bob Feller's all of a sudden not hitting any spots right up until that point right there. So we are going to get ourselves... Uh, is that out number one? That's, uh, that's out number two. Two on the count. Oh, my God. All right. That inning from Bob Feller was not a good one. We missed, I think, every pitch except for one. All right, Tony Gwynn, you basically have 125 power. Let's let's show it off a little bit. Okay. He has got the range. That's going to be out number one. Oh, two the count to Robbie. We got to stay alive. Get a mistake pitch. Robbie's going to drive that out to right center field it is now four to zero too low it's your turn we're getting back-to-back -back shots on back-to-back -back pitches oh my god i called it get a solo shot for tula whiskey now a five to zero tulo is three for three on the day a solo shot and two singles with another ribby back to back to back frank frank 
Frank. Frank! All right, we missed it. He's running the shift on Duke. He gives me that cutter away. I'm I'm gonna take that double down the line. And you know what? We beat this shift, and if he, if he put on the shift, or he didn't. That's a base hit up the middle. Who cares? All right, 74 speed on first, two down. O2 the count to Big D Willie. He tries to slide step, and we were a tad out in front. That's going to be a routine fly ball to center field. Get ourselves out of the inning, but we do increase our lead. O2, we're going straight gas up and in. We're breaking bats. We're breaking bats. We're getting strikeouts. You know, same thing. All right, Chris Davis, dude. This man is a power slut, and I'm not going to lie. I love it. I get it. I respect it. Oh, one, we're throwing that change up. Okay. All right. Well, we we did throw the change up. For whatever reason, that pitch did jam him just a little bit. So that's a routine fly out to center field. 3 1, you know he's looking fast, but we're throwing that change piece. And he's out in front. It is going to fall down in front of Tony Gwen. So 83 speed is now on first base, but there is two down. 12 6 is going to be the pitch, and that is going to be driven into right field as well. He's not going to be able to get to third. So first and second, still two down. One good pitch away from giving up no runs. And oh dear God, it's Adam Dunn. Let's throw that good slider. And that is a terrible pitch by me. All right. Well, it is now five to three. Oh, one, we're going to go and throw this change up. I honestly think I should start throwing the fastball a little bit more. I, I have noticed he is sitting on off speed heavily. We got to get that fastball and sinker going next inning. But the score is 5-3. to three. Let's get some more runs. Try and get those three runs right back. All right. Well, if you look at the right-hand side of your screen, the catcher randomly appears on the uh, first baseline. Whoa. What is going on in this game? So our opponent brings out Ken Giles to face the man, the myth, the legend, Josh Donaldson. He is, he's been doing well this game. And we got to change up low and down the middle. But we rolled it over to the third baseman for a very weak first out. Ron is going to be on that one. Is it going to get down? It falls down. So 69 speed, very nice, is now on first base. We're going to go ahead and call Bob's day over with. Our bullpen's in a good spot. And so, yeah, we're going to go Bruce Suter warming up. And a, uh, eh, we're going to go Zach Britton for Joey Gallo. Give him the special treatment. All right, Charlie has been magnificent off the bench. we got to try and continue it right here. That's going to get by the catcher and actually rebound really nice for him. So 69 speed now on second base. Ron Jeremy, of course he's got 69 speed. Why not? Charlie is going to hit it well. It is not going to find. Oh, my God. All right. Finds the gap. Dad is going to score 69 speed from second base. I don't know who's in left field, but he might want to invest in the glove. Tony. Oh, my God. I, I should probably stop power swinging with him. I, I keep power swinging and then just keep missing so we are still a base hit away from scoring one robbie's gonna square it up that is gonna land by the line we are not gonna be able to turn that into a double actually we probably could have but that's gonna be an rbi single for robbie oh that was such a good pitch to hit i think we we're just a tad underneath that and just late could have been four for four right there that's on me well, already behind the count 2-0 so uh you know looking marvelous right here we're just gonna throw that get me over sinker he is all over it but welcome to the line out crew out number one one oh the count common theme for zach Britton these last couple times i brought him in he cannot find the zone but he's finding some outs that's gonna be out number two. First pitch to robbie we're gonna throw that is a dot of a slider it just misses all right well that's unfortunate but that is that is a good pitch i'm okay with that miss get ourselves another routine fly out to right field tony going tracks it down one two three inning for zach Britton gets the job done let's get some more much needed runs frank is gonna drive in the gap uh okay that is definitely getting down thought the center fielder was gonna track that much better than that so we end up getting a double courtesy of frank the tank thomas and duke that should have been a two-run shot that'll get the job done it does advance oh my god is that really gonna get the job done yeah you hate to see that one uh, uh that's 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 crazy and willie mays i thought he was about to make him pay for it but there's gonna be a deep fly out to right field 49 speed is easily gonna score we are now up eight to three all right, Josh Donaldson right here. We can make it 10 to 3, one swing of the bat, or we could ground down double play. That 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 is also okay, I guess. All right. We're going to see if we could get another inning out of Zach Britton right here, and you know what? Not a good start, but with that sinker still could easily get the ground ball double play. 
see if we get that to happen ian kinsler's up at the dish he's been a good budget beast for me if you do need a budget beast second baseman highly recommend him we're gonna throw that slider inside that's gonna be a good pitch he's a, oh my god what what kind of reaction time is that ron's looking good behind the dish repeat of the one two count that sinker is that's strike three all right curtis granderson who can definitely hit lefties and and then he shows it that is gonna be right to tony gwenny if he pushes 30 he might get hose 66 speed is gonna get in there safely but we still have the opportunity for the double play two to the count we're gonna throw that slider we're gonna throw in a slide step with it got to change his timing too many very late foul balls here is adam dunn and we almost just made it eight to six. Oh two. Oh my god well that's why I don't slide step. Well, it's now eight to six. That that's that's terrible. We gotta start throwing a little bit more balls out of the zone. That is right there what I'm talking about. Freezes them. We need to get a couple more runs again because it is now eight to six. This man is in love with his shifts. Give me that sinker away. I'll show you that. I'll just beat it. I'll take the singles all day. Ron, that's what I'm talking about. I'll take that shift beater all day. I was hoping his outfield was shifted as well, but it was just his infield interesting choice that actually isn't that bad cody makes it 10 to 6 charlie blackman and cody bellinger's player of the month are money off the bench tony's only got 67 pop versus right but you already know he's going deep as well and by deep i mean a uh, single through the right side that's it that's exactly the definition i meant to use Tula Whiskey, more like Tulo shits on the ball ski. That is another single. Four for five on the day. Three singles, a home run, two ribbies. He's an animal. 2-1 to Frank, dude. He's helicoptering it right now. He's getting ready to unleash. And that is going to be a 400-foot fly out to center field. Not going to try and advance him here. Duke is gonna he took off this shift and it would have paid off well Duke comes clutch with a base hit right up the middle Willie's gonna get it down the line get us another run a repeat first and third two down all right well that's that's a, that's a way to kill the inning oh well we're throwing a mistake of a curveball thank god he was still sitting fastball we're gonna do it again except with a slider Get him to roll it over into our shift for out number one. If any of you have used this Evan Longoria, let me know what you think. I didn't know he had a shift on. He is going to burn us the other way. That is going to be a man on second one down. Well, our opponent is clearly still looking fastball. And then we throw a changeup right down the meat. He actually went home. We would have hosed him. If we threw it all the way through, at, and he advances to second. Ah, God. All right, let's not have an inning where we just blow the lead all over again. Let's let's at least maintain a five-run gap here. We're going to go fastball upstairs. Thank God Jimmy didn't get all that. 0-2, we're going for that back foot slider. That should be a good pitch. That is going to be a good one. Yes, sir. JD, gold feeling. Easy all day. Cross the diamond. We only end up giving one run that inning. I'll take it. All right, he's taking off the shift again. He took off the shift. If we get a routine ground ball up the middle... You're gonna hate to see that or he gives up a home run i mean you hate to see it either way on a full count we get ball four that is going to bring up tony gwen two for five three for six time got ourselves in a full count with tony gwen we're gonna do a hit and run right here and i don't think that is deep enough we had the right idea of going to that left side but we didn't put it on the ground we put it in the air out number one Robbie is gonna line it to left field ends up getting caught for a shoestring catch out number two all right to Lewitsky, you get a another shot right here and my bad right, that is the second time we had an amazing pitch to hit with him and then I the user choke with our opponent having two lefties and then a switch hitter we're gonna go ahead and go to Chapman who is now behind the count two. Oh, we're gonna throw that fastball and uh we got bailed out all right that, that's what happened we got bailed out that should have been 3-0 ends up being out number one. First pitch we're going two seam away and by away i mean right down the middle gets by tula whiskey if you had 90 reaction who knows what you would have done there but it's a single oh one two seam inside that has some good movement but missed our spot we're gonna go right back to it 
and uh, induce maybe a double play. I don't think we're going to get him at first. We do not, but two down. Oh, yeah, Frank, what are you going to do? We got Chapman on the mound. That's a dirty two. Seem good luck hitting that. That is going to be a routine fly ball over to right. We end up winning this game 13 to 7. Ron Jeremy is player of the game. And again, just to note, he is sporting Troy Tulowitzki's 2010 stance. Ron was 5 for 5, two bombs, three ribbies. Tulowitzki, 4 for 6, a home run, two ribbies. He could have easily been 6 for 6 if I didn't choke on two at bats. Alomar, 2 for 6, two ribbies. And Cody Bellinger off the bench, 1 for 1 with a homer. We had 21 hits and 13 runs, and nine of those hits came from somebody either named Troy Tulowitzki or sporting a stance. If I had to rate Troy Tulowitzki's card right now at this given time, I would say he's probably pretty close to a 10 out of 10 at the shortstop position. I, again, will say I wish he had better reaction because I think he, he should, but he doesn't. So yeah, 10 out of 10 card at shortstop, good swing, good power not really a hole in his game other than maybe speed thank you for watching today's video if you enjoyed today's content please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel y'all have a good day thank you